I work for my dad at his small construction business. He runs a yard and warehouse full of materials and manages the job sites where the workers are. Since I was only 17 at the time, my job was basically to be the errand boy. I'd drive materials back and forth and pick up anything that was needed, depending on the job. Though some materials would need to be there before workers arrived because they would need them to get to work right away in the morning. So every once in a while, during busy weeks, I'd have to start work really early, like 2 o'clock or 3 a.m., to make sure I could drop everything off in time. Obviously, this was only during the summer when I didn't have school, so I really had no excuse for not being able to work. I liked doing the deliveries early, though, because it was calm and I didn't have to deal with anyone telling me what to do. On this day, I arrived at the warehouse at 3 a.m. and loaded up, then started making my way to the job site. It was a repair job on an old, maybe even abandoned building at the edge of our town. When I got there, I saw a truck parked right outside. Its lights were off, and it didn't look like anyone was nearby. It was way too early for anyone to be working, so I wasn't expecting to see any cars here. I parked and got out, walking up to it and seeing that it wasn't a company vehicle either. The windows were tinted, and I couldn't see inside. I turned and looked at the building, trying to see if anyone was here. I called out, asking if anyone was inside, but got no response. Feeling a little weird about it, I pulled out my phone and called my dad. It rang for a minute, then went to voicemail. Figuring it was probably just a worker's personal truck that they'd left there, I went back to my truck and started unloading the materials. It took probably an hour, then I got back in and started to drive off. As I left the area, though, I looked in my rearview mirror and suddenly the truck's lights turned on. I practically slammed on my brakes, stopping on the side of the road and watching as the truck started to back out. Someone was in there the whole time. Knowing that, I was sure that it couldn't have been a worker because they definitely would have responded to me. I sat and watched as they made their way out of the parking area and onto the road. I grabbed my phone and quickly dialed my dad's phone number again. While I waited for him to pick up, I looked over, seeing the truck had stopped right next to me. I stared at their window, knowing someone behind it was probably staring at me. I tossed my phone on the seat and started to drive forward, but the truck was quick to match my speed and prevent me from getting back onto the road. But there was nowhere else for me to go. To my left were trees, and to my right was this truck blocking my way. I started to panic putting the car in reverse and trying to back up. The truck did the same until they tapped the side of my car, making me lose control and slide completely off the shoulder and hit the side of a tree. The truck quickly stopped right at the top of the road, as if they were going to get out. But then their brake lights suddenly turned off again as they put it back in drive and sped away. Just 20 seconds later, another car pulled up to the side of the road and a man got out and ran up to me, asking if I was okay. I didn't know his name at the time, but it was one of the workers that was just arriving at the job site. He only saw the last bit of what happened, but said he recognized the other truck as Samuels, who was another worker my dad had hired a few months ago. As it turned out, a bunch of tools and materials were missing from the job site, adding up to almost $10,000, and that's only from that one night. He could have been slowly stealing a few things at a time over the past few months. I think what happened that night, though, was that Samuel thought that by me seeing his truck, it would eventually all get traced back to him and he'd get caught, so he tried to stop me. I don't know what he would have done to me, but considering I was the only witness, it's likely that he wouldn't have gotten caught as long as I was never seen again. Unfortunately though, his name and everything else didn't add up to anything, and it was likely he was either an illegal immigrant or some kind of felon that went through the effort of getting fake or stolen IDs and work documents. 
I was never expecting something like that to ever happen, but at least it's really unlikely that I'll ever see that man again. <laughs>